The I can fix him women should be seen as low value. How dare you? What do I mean? Obviously, women who have a history of dating men, dating men they've always had to fix or help out in life, to many men, that is a low value woman and should be treated as such. I'm valuable. Okay, here's some things I've learned about men. And before anyone says anything, yes, I've got a cold, I've got some kind of flu, I've been sick for the last five days. I know the nasally voice is annoying, but it is what it is. We're just going to have to see past it. Well, considering we don't know you, we can't tell the difference between your normal voice and the nasally one. No one cares. But continue. Anyway, swiftly moving on. At this age now, compared to when I was, say, like 21, I have learned so many things about men. And I'm here to say it to some of the young girlies that may not know it yet, or may be ignoring advice, or may not, maybe don't want to believe it, maybe are ignoring red flags. I'm just going to say it as it is. I'm just okay. going to say it as it is. The reason why I'm going to say this is because since I've reached a certain age, I started doing things with men differently. The way I spoke to them, the way I approached them, the way I allowed them to approach me. Okay. And I've changed how I've done things in such a way that I know that I'm right about what I'm about to say. She's on to something. I'm very observant. Okay, I'm not sure how old she is. I think she's probably post, you know, frontal lobe development. My brains are made of brains. So she can see collars now, I guess. You know, frontal lobes developed. So now with her frontal lobe developed, now with her new frontal lobe development, this woman has changed how she approaches dating men. I am the table. How she goes about interacting with them, how she goes about letting them approach her. It's all new now. It's all fangled and modern, isn't it? Don't know. Maybe. Should be fun. First of all, you cannot love somebody better. You cannot fix him. You cannot love him into being a good man. It's not how it works. It's not going to happen. The younger you are, or the less experienced you are, or the more issues you have from your childhood, I'm not blaming anyone. I had all of those. I was naive. I had issues from childhood. A lot of us are in this boat together. The more you have that, the less likely you are to see it. But you have to see it. They have to see it. See what? See, see, it. see the fact that no matter what you do as a woman, trying to fix a broken man isn't going to work. No! I can fix him! Now, my point to this is, as a man, other men listening, women who have dated a lot of these dudes, trash already, trash! This woman does not value herself. Nope. See any value in herself? Nope. A lot of women do destroy themselves dating men they continually try to fix. Yeah. I'm lonely. Now that's nice, it's cute. I'm not saying it's a bad thing women try to fix men. But a few key things are, when women have dated nothing but men they try to fix and then think and say, this is men. Nope. No. <laughs> that's your level. That's your bare minimum. Hmm? That's what you're used to. You need to fix men to feel better about yourself. What do you, what do you mean you don't like me? Yeah, so be it. And another key point to it is, women who have PTSD or CPTSD, women who are heavily traumatized, a lot of them have no idea what to do with a man who actually does the bare minimum for her. No, it's, it's too much. Anytime a woman has been shocked that I've done something basic for her, something that's, this is nothing for me. Doesn't everyone. Doesn't everyone? This is nothing. This is I'm not even putting effort into it because it's normal for me. Any woman that I've ever come across where my normalcy is less than what she's used to, you shouldn't be here. I eventually depart from, ghost, abandon that woman. Disgusting. No, that sounds bad. It sounds harsh. I know. My thing is, there are a lot of bad men out there, a lot of men do treat women bad, but a lot of these men can rely on the fact of there's going to be a gullible woman ready to save him, yeah. fix him. That's sexy. Somewhere. Any woman that has a man and she thinks she can fix him, she's already lost. He doesn't care. He never cared about her. And there are so many of those relationships nowadays, you can understand why some people are a bit... <laughs> They're a bit messed up. Now, being a man, if I come across one of these women, no. I'm Cut the show. No, I'm good. From my perspective, she has to go back to what she's used to. She's low value to herself. You have to understand it and see her as such. Damn, bruh. Because you cannot love a man better. It doesn't matter how much you do for him. It doesn't matter if you wash his clothes, cook him dinner, love him unconditionally, offer to go to therapy with him, whatever it is, you cannot make that man change unless he wants to change. And one of the biggest things I've learned at this age is that when a man says, oh, I'll get help, oh, I'll change, oh, I'll do this, I'll do that, if you do not see immediate action afterwards, he is not going to do it. And the only way he's going to learn is by you walking away. And I've had so many guys that I've dated where afterwards they've got it and they've come back and they've gone, I learned when you left. Gotcha. But all the guys that I stuck around with one, two, three times, gave them several chances. They never learn. And they only learn when I left. If he's saying he'll get help and they're not doing it, 
please, 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 for the love of God, leave. You are going to waste so much of your life. You're going to waste so much of your time, your emotions, your tears. It's not going to benefit you. And what makes it so interesting, we live in this era of highly independent women. Women that have everything themselves. They don't need a man. Hmm? They don't need a man for resources. Yet you would find a lot of these independent women with their own dating a man that they have to fix. To this day! I need him. What a mind job. Now, this is no shade to other men. My thing is, look, if you can get it, just get it where you can get it. Women want to spend on you. Women want to try and fix you. Oh, let them try to fix you. You might even enjoy it. As a man, I would never try to date that woman after you. As a man, you couldn't give me that woman after you. Damage beyond repair. Traumatized women have no idea what to do with a man who would do for them. The best you can do is leave her. <laughs> saving a woman who's used to saving men. You've lost already if you believe that's ever going to work. And you are going to regret it because... Even though I have no regrets, and even though I'm happy things turn out the way they are because I love who I am as a person nowadays, I wasted my 20s. Another thing I've learned about men is that they know how they're treating you. When you cry, and when you're set up and you're going, like, why don't you change? Why don't you get better? The sad fact of the reality is most of these men are not going to feel bad that they're doing it. They're going to look at you and think, ugh. They're going to lose respect for you because... Men are very logical, right? So when men are in a situation where there's no respect being given to them, they tend to leave because they respect themselves in that sense. Because, because, because they respect themselves in that sense. Exactly. Exactly. I have things to do. Which is why certain men, including myself, wouldn't date a woman who's used to fixing men. You're not worth $300. I have far too much respect for myself to want to uphold a woman who never respected herself. Nah, that's... Bullshit. That's ridiculous. Because, because, because they respect themselves in that sense. Women, we stay out of empathy, but the man sees it as a lack of self-respect. And when you look like you don't have self-respect, when you look as though you don't respect yourself enough to walk away, the man pities you, but not in a way where he's going to get better, in a way where he's more likely to get more abusive or cheat or just carry on doing the same old shit he was doing before. And I can tell you that from me to every woman I know, I don't know one woman where a woman sat down and gone like crying, head in her hands, why don't you change, please change, and the guy's just miraculous gone, you know what, I'm going to change for you, it doesn't happen. I don't give a fuck. doesn't happen, men know. And men are so big on respect because that's the way usually they like to be treated, is, is if a woman respects them, that's when they sort of fall for us. They're so big on respect that if you don't look like you respect yourself, if you give up all your time with your girls, you drop your plans with your girls last minute when he's cancelled his plans or when his plans have fell through, if you forgive him every time he's a dick to you, he's going to lose respect for you and he's going to do it more. Do you know, I do wonder if women can actually tell when we respect him or not. Because a lot of women can delude themselves because a man wants to sleep with her. She thinks what he may respect, he may like her and respect her. It's like, no. She's Aww. just like a good fa fa fa. None of those need to be in the equation for a man to sleep with a woman. Like, respect, please. I'm trying to get drawers and don't, don't need to like or respect you. But yes, a lot of men can see in certain women, they don't respect themselves. To some men, that's a turn off. To other men, it's a turn on. Because it's like, yeah, let's play some games. Let's have some fun. Fix me. I'm broken. I, I hate to break it to you. It's just what it is. They know what they're doing. They're not stupid. On top of that, if you forgive a cheater once, he will cheat again. I have never in my life once forgiven a cheater because I know this. I know this. When women go, oh, my relationship worked out because, you know, I forgave him after cheating. I don't need to cheat. Sis, he is going to do it again. He's going to do it again. It's always going to happen. He's going to get more sneaky and hide it. Or you're going to become more susceptible to accepting it and just crack on with it. But he will do it again. The second I was cheated on, when I was cheated on, the time I know about, the time I got proof about, when I actually found out about that, it was done in a second. I sent a couple of texts, I called twice, didn't get a response, and I blocked him. Okay, that's good. Some self-respect. A lot of women would stay with a man who constantly cheats on her women will then say with their full chest this is what men are like no woman the men you wanted to fix to make him love you more that's what those men are like all men no again a male loneliness epidemic yet the men who are traumatizing women are still traumatizing them and you know something it's beautiful interesting isn't it yeah that's cute never spoke to him again not once after dating for a year and a half you should be so unattracted by disrespect that big that it puts you off that you don't want to date somebody like that again, that it's actually so ugly, you don't find them attractive anymore, that everyone has boundaries, everyone has things that they can let go of. My biggest thing was like, I would never forgive a cheater. Never forgive a cheater. Okay, I'm rambling now, and I don't want to make this video too long. 
So I'm going to leave it there. Um, yeah, let's leave it there. She's rambling and waffling quite a lot. The point is, a lot of women blame men when their discernment, their want to fix a broken man, puts them in a category where they think this is all men. Have a nice day. Damage beyond repair.